Stingy and stingy and bitchy I who got the camera for the bigger than twits Flesh and tidbit from that twitch Mr. Forbidge, you are cruel and sick The Nationals got Kamalko and they burnt out the wick Why are you complaining you're already rich? And who started all of this switching shit? Escape from Toy Town, party broadcast. You know, there are 6 billion people on this planet, about 18 to 19 million in Australia, and Pauline Hansen is only one of them. I mean, this is Planet of the Apes. We could start being friendly to the monkeys. Anyway, is Hansen a distraction or something? A national joke gone too far? I know when the Liberals got in, it was a vote for a kick in the head for a down and out, but now everyone's ugly, vomitous, Nazi intentions are coming out. Is Mr. Forbes just a winter or has he read mine camp lately and he'd like to start a jolly race war? Finding scapegoats to cover the fact that he's useless to capitalism and he can't make us any jobs. And Johnny Howard tries to keep quiet, but we all know about the pointy hats in his cupboard. And Tim Bicker, Wizard of Oz, haven't we done enough wiping out already? I mean, it's not funny watching old bastards on telly saying it's gonna have to turn the blood. The press almost boasted Port Arthur as Australia's worst massacre. But where are the original Tasmanians? And what about the 500 people killed at Kinchera Point in the 1880s? And any of the hundreds of murders and massacres across the country? And has anyone stood up and said sorry? No, I don't think so. You're like a bunch of crooks divvying up the goods. And the Aborigines have been saying, Oi, stop that, stop that, you're thieving. And no one's noticed. The farmers should be happy that the Aborigines would sell their land and cow poo and pesticides. And the miners should ask nicely, wipe their bottoms before leaving skid marks on the side of Australia and pay some rent. You know the concept of rent? I don't see anyone paying rent yet, do you? No. Oh. So why all this whinging? What is wrong in your lives? Just to rub it in, I'd like to say that a country that could let a quarter of a million East Timorese die in concentration camps and massacres and from torture and starvation and only 600 kilometres from here is a country with no credibility. The Timorese helped to stop the Japanese and in return we let the Yanks arm up the Indonesians and gave the big bombs an A-OK when they did it and now we fix the Timorese oil, drive our cars around on it and to add insult, sign a defence agreement with the bastards and train with them as if it never happened. Well it did. So I'd like to say it now for the East Timorese and the West Papuans that I hate Sahara and so do most of his people. I know he and all his cronies and the Americans are stinking rotten corrupt, murdering mafia dudes without an ounce of moral fibre between them. And that I wish that when they die an avalanche of demons come flapping down and cast them off the web that so is in hell. There easily said, wasn't it? Just to quote John Barnum, we're not gonna sit in silence, we're not gonna live in fear. So when Australia holds that pathetic year 2000 party, we will be paying the hike and rent the fund the steward thing, so we'll have to come to and let the world know what a horrible bunch of miserable racists we have to share the place with.